Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So <clears throat> today we're going to make some uh, green salad. But in my green salad, I like to add some fruit. So this is the apple right here. Okay. I think I'm just gonna put one. Well, well I'm gonna make two, guys. Okay. So we're going to put two apple. This apple is not good. Turn black. Just gonna get the good one. Snap, and then I drop. Crazy. Okay, but I already have one, so it's not really a big deal. I like to add the apple in my salad, in my green salad, because the sweetness and then make you full as well. I mean, it's really healthy. Um, most of the food that I bought when I go grocery shopping, they're organic. Okay, so we're gonna add some one pear, okay? We don't need to peel it. It's rid it of including the skin, okay? And this is really good for salad. So, because we just woke up, so I'm using the quickest way to prepare our dinner. Well, it's past on lunch because it's still black, so it's pretty much early dinner for us. Um, so, I use a pressure cooker. I have a baby back ribs that I took it out from my freezer last night. So, when I woke up an hour ago, it's already tall, so I just put all my seasoning, good seasoning, and then um, put on pressure cooker because that's the quickest way. It's tender quicker, and then we're gonna bake it for oh 15 minutes in our in our um, air fry. Okay, so I'm gonna throw this away. aside okay so next I'm gonna remove this as well so next we're gonna add the spring mix greens this is the kind of salad I use guys I bought this a lot from Costco so they are uh, different greens um, salad and it's really good because um, it's really nutrients and this is the acid tender baby leaf baby greens um, so this is organic. Okay. So we're gonna do, we're gonna make our salad. Okay, this is for our baby back ribs and then salad. And then I am going to make, I'm gonna cook some carrots. Okay, so my hands is clean, so I'm just gonna mix, I'm going to mix all of these guys just like that, okay. Oh crap, okay. Just mix it really well. The sweetness and then the, um, Sweetness for um, the sweetness from apple and um, from pear is bring more tastier of your salad. The reason I made this like this, guys, my husband, he's not really crazy about eating salad, but because we're trying to lose weight, so I have to kind of creative like what make him eat more salad rather than you know just pick and choose. But at this point, they really have no choice. I'm, this is clean counter, guys. So I'm going to pick this up, okay? So now I'm going to get some bowl. You know, like, go back to my husband. Um, he's not really a vegetable eater or salad. I guess the way they've been raised, you know, here in America, they do a lot of junk food. You know, the country I grew up in, the Philippines, we eat a lot of vegetables, healthy food. So, I'm trying to uh, compromise and also creating a really good um, dish. So, because me and him are trying to lose weight, we're trying to avoid um, eating 
a lot of carbs. Well, we eat carbs, but not that much. But with no rice, no bread, no rice. But of course, our food that we eat, there is some carbs in that. So, um, <clears throat> that's the difference. Um, so that's the reason I become creative, become to the food, like the salad. Sometimes it's kind of have frustrated because I serve a lot of really of salad uh, vegetables. The vegetables, he's fine, really, but the salad, he just not. He just not happy. We come to the salad, so um, that's the reason why I adding some fruits. My food. Okay, so let me see here. So I have a slice of tomatoes, so I'm going to put this here. The avocado that would be mine, he doesn't like avocado, so I love avocado. So these are the two bowls. So what I'm going to do is to add here his salad, and then I will add more fruits than mine sweet fruits like which is the apple and the um okay so that one right there apple and the um pears okay so i'm gonna add some potato and not potato but tomatoes rather put some tomatoes here okay just like that i'm gonna put him first um then i will add some eggs boiled eggs Max Kobe. So I'm gonna slice this guys. So I'm gonna slice this this. Just put on a corner of your um in your salad. I'll put this up for a minute. And then add this a little bit more of here guys because this is what we're gonna eat with our baby ribs baby back ribs okay the tomatoes right there I like to fix like a little bit nicer a salad you know not just throwing because throwing things to, like sloppy looking because you know it's kind of a um, help the person to um, look nice like the eating at the restaurant so this is my husband so i added some pecan nuts on the top because he liked the pecans so i added pecans for him because since i trying to be creative the things that the food that he liked and combine pretty much all that together okay so now this is my salad okay get that more fruits And then some tomatoes. And I'm gonna add some tomatoes in his, like that. And I think I decided not to put eggs on my salad. So, well, I'm not really sure, but we'll see, I'm gonna slice these eggs for now. Then we're going to put some uh, avocado. Guys, I eat everything. I mean, I love fruits. I just love fruits and vegetables. I can't live without vegetables or salad every day because I was raised that way. So, but living in America, we eat so much food. That's what the um, what happened. I gain a lot of weight. Okay, so so this avocado here. The rest of the avocado, I am going to make some salsa with that for later on. Okay, I'm gonna look nice on this one, guys. Okay. And I probably I will add one more avocado. Or maybe I'm just gonna put all of it, because I love avocado. Avocado is the healthiest food as well, because it's a, a natural fat. Um, this is really good for breakfast, you're adding to your eggs. Or anything that you eat okay so I'm just gonna put this here or in here yeah so I'm just gonna use all the avocado in my salad let me wash my hands okay then 
I'm just gonna put some two eggs on my salad okay and then the rest I'm gonna put to my husband's salad okay so this is what a salad look like guys when I'm making some salad so this is mine I love avocado and then he love um, pecan nuts so I put some nuts here and eggs of course but if you have a family that doesn't like um, green salad you know add something that they like to eat as long as it's a little bit healthier so but this one is healthy um, salad so that's it guys so stay tuned for our ribs okay guys so I'm going to caramelize some um, carrots my husband doesn't like he love uh, caramelized carrots so I'm gonna show you what I do so this is a water a one fourth cup of water and I'm gonna boil this okay Then I'm gonna add one tablespoon of butter. Okay. So, once it boiled it, we're going to add the carrots. So, this time, the quickest way to make um, caramelized carrots is using the um, salted butter. So, that's why we put salted butter. Okay. Okay guys, so again, my husband and I were trying to lose weight, so we're not using a regular sugar to our um, caramelized carrots. So now it's boiling guys, so I'm going to drop these carrots, okay. So right now it's uh, carrots and uh, salted butter, the two tablespoons tablespoon of butter. We're going, to, we're going to use the Splenda, the sweetener, for our carrots. And because my husband, this is one of his favorite um, caramelized, love carrots, caramelized carrots, so that's what we're going to do. We're still able to make to your family their favorite dish, but you have to use the different way, different uh, products, okay? So now, we're going to allow them to boil, to cook it for 15 minutes. So cooking this 15 minutes, we're gonna cover this so they can cook faster, okay? So we're gonna let that to cook. So while we're cooking um, our carrots, now I'm gonna cook my green beans because I'm not crazy about sweet on my meal, so I'm gonna cook a green beans, which is mine. So in this pan, I just put a uh, one fourth cup of water and I'm gonna put the heat to high Okay, and I'm gonna get my black pepper and salt. Well, no, just black pepper because we are using a um, salted butter. So I am gonna use one tablespoon of butter. Okay. And I'm gonna allow this to boil. So we're going to wait until the water is boiled, the same thing as we the we prepared for the caramelized carrot. So just stay tuned. So my carrot is boiling. So I'm gonna adjust the temperature to put medium to slow down um, the heat. So I continue cooking because the carrot is kind of um, take long to cook. I mean it's been like kind of uh, not too hard. 
um, the carrots. So we're gonna cook a little bit more. Now in our beans here, okay. So it's not boiling yet. But as soon as boil, once they start boiling, we're gonna uh, we're gonna drop our green beans. Okay, guys. So now it's boiling. So I'm gonna drop the green beans. The green beans, guys. I stuck a lot of um, frozen vegetables because there's no salt, there's no nothing. It's just a plain a green beans, and you have to season it when you are cooking. Uh, this is would be good to stock at home. So I have a lot of uh, frozen vegetables in my freezer. Um, because now we are eating a lot of um, vegetables and fruits. So yeah, so I'm gonna add black pepper, okay? And I'm not gonna add any salt yet until I taste it. Because remember we're using um, salted butter. So it's important that you have to taste it. You don't wanna be salty, salt, salty uh, food. It's not good for you either, if you have, especially if you have a blood pressure problem. Yeah, you need salt, so I'm gonna add some salt. So allow this to cook and adjust now to medium, I don't need to rush it to cook. So, and then we're still cooking our uh, caramelized carrots. So this is the my favorite instant, instant pot. The reason why, if you cook some rice, only take 10 minutes to cook. And there's so many things here, this is the quickest way if you prepared some um, dish for your family. Um, so I decided to make the inside pot today because we woke up so late and we are both, my husband and I were both hungry. So, and then I decided to make some baby back ribs. So I used the Insta pot and now this is done. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Okay guys. So I cooked the baby back ribs for 20 minutes on a pressure cooker and, um, I didn't put any anything. I didn't put any liquid in my pressure cooker. On here. Okay, I apologize. So I didn't put any water in my pressure cooker, but we have a lot of juice coming out. This juice is from the meat. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, as you can see how tender it is. So I'm going to put this on my slicing board because we are going to uh, brown this to our um, air fryer okay so the total of cooking with these baby back ribs oh 30 minutes max because I, I cook this for 20 minutes and then 10 minutes on the air fryer no air fryer oh yeah air fry air fryer um, by the way the juice I'm not wasting this because I can cook this with something else because this is well seasoned meat and this, this juice is strictly from our meat. They produce that. Okay, so. First thing first, we're gonna put this in our air fryer, okay? It's really, really tender, like what I said. Your best friend in the kitchen, so look at the bones coming out. Um, your best friend in the kitchen, if you are a busy person, you're always on a rush, that would be the time uh, wise to use it because as you look at guys 20 minutes pressure cooker it's hot so we're gonna brown this in our air fry then I will add some barbecue sauce in it that's the quickest way to make if you are um, in a rush but again rush or in a I, this is just my favorite favorite uh, kitchen gadgets my air fryer and my um, Instapot Okay, so I'm gonna put this here on the top Okay, and then I'm gonna show you here. Hold on I'm gonna show you I'm gonna put this in high temperature Okay, the reason why I'm gonna put this to 425. Oh, this 400 only. Okay, then we're gonna set this for only 10, 
Hold a minute. Did I do that? I'm going to adjust it. I'm just going to put this for 10 minutes. Because the purpose of our baby back ribs is to brown the top of the meat. Like you're eating barbecue, you know, and then you're going to add the barbecue sauce. So it's a three things you're going to do. So use your instant pot to um, pressure cooker for your meat. And then take that out, transfer to the air fry, cook for 10 minutes. So this total of 30 minutes to make your delicious baby back ribs. So now we have to wait for 10 minutes for 100 degrees. Now we're back to our vegetables. This is how I prepared my dish, guys. Um, cook it all in one. It's faster to prepare, right? So I'm gonna taste the carrots. And then I'm gonna turn off my greens, because that's done. Okay. And then I'm gonna taste, make sure. I don't need to add any salt. So I need to add salt and black pepper on my carrots, okay? In the beginning, I said don't add any salt because we use um, salted butter. But you're still gonna taste your uh, caramelized carrots, see if they needed more salt. So I'm gonna put a little bit more salt there, and then black pepper. So the total of cooking all of this dish, all of it, oh, total of 30 minutes. So 30 minutes you can prepare everything in 30 minutes with your family. It's a matter of how to manage your time. Um, you know, it's really easy in America. You have four burner stove, you have oven, you have air fry. You pretty much everything you have in your household. Now, I am like obsessed of kitchen gadgets, so everything you can think of of kitchen gadgets, I have it. I have those because I like to use it. I like to experiment different things, you know. Okay, so I'm going to test this again to make sure. Mm. It's not too sweet, but it's sweet because the carrot is sweet and we add the um, sweetener. Okay, so I'm going to turn, turn off all of this, guys. Okay. And we're going to start preparing plating, okay? Okay guys, as you can see, they're smoking. We have four more minutes left. And um, so, once it's four minutes over, then it's done. Because remember, we cut that really tender. So, this is another idea, guys, but I can give it to you. Um, the quickest way if you are a very busy person You have to go to work you have family to feed so they will be this the simplest way to do Okay, guys, so it's done. So we're gonna get this out Okay, and when I'm gonna show you what it look like There we go You have a delicious Really tender baby back ribs